All right, so in the previous video, I showed how to do payment with Stripe in React Native using the card element. But as I mentioned in the video, there is also another way, and that is to use the payment sheet, uh, the pre-built UI coming from Stripe. And uh, the documentation might seem pretty straightforward, but the uh, documentation being this one, but I'm going to just show you in this video how to actually uh, get this payment sheet working uh, from our previous setup. Okay, so this, if this is the first time you watch one of my Stripe payment videos, I would advise to go back or at least check out the code in the description so you have a starting point. All right. All right, so yeah, this is what we created last time. So last time we created a small express server is inside the API folder and uh, basically what this express server is doing is creating a payment intent and we are sending back uh, the client secret that is created from this payment intent okay and on, on load here whenever this screen is loaded we uh, just ping our backend and we grab uh, this client secret so let's just see if it works what we did last time. All right, it seems to be working still, so that's good. Now let's try to add the payment in, uh, payment sheet. So that's just that's quite straightforward actually. So from use drive, we can grab another function called initialize payment sheet. And then there should also be another payment sheet option is this one percent payment sheet okay so the first one we want to call is initialize payment sheet and we do this right after we grab our key here so inside our use effect we can call initialize payment sheet there should be a method here called payment intent client secret we can assign that one now our app should have initialized the payment sheet using the key and now we're actually ready to present it. So if you go down here, we create a button, we can actually try to present it. So let's create a handler called handle sheet. Find the method up here. And then call present payment sheet, where we once again pass in the key. And that should be it actually. Let's give it a try. All right, here's the payment sheet. And uh, we get this nice pre-built UI. We can insert our test credentials, our postal code, press pay, and that works. Okay, so pretty simple. Uh, one gotcha is if you use the card element first then I believe the payment intent expires and you can't use the payment sheet after. So you have to go to for one or, one or the other. All right. 